Oshun does not need a man to validate herself. She knows that she is the healing and pleasure and beauty of life that he needs. <laughs> If civilization is the establishment of homes, towns, and cities, and social structures, and justice systems and institutions, then it is femininity that creates culture. The flavor, the beauty, the spice of life. She does not draw Ogun out of the forest simply because she wants his sex. She was sent by Olodumare, God himself, to show Ogun that life is worth living. When he resigned himself to the forest and refused to offer his gifts to humanity, because he is the Arisha of technology, of invention, of civilization. And he is an Irumale. He existed before Orisha. How can I make this concise? Ogun is a particular aspect of masculinity. Ogun represents masculinity that orders chaos, that creates structure and implements systems, that creates stratification and institutions out of chaos. The man that goes into the forest to penetrate the wild bush, to cut down the trees, to make a clearing, to build a house, to cut down the wood, to learn how to create fire, to cook food. This very primordial masculinity. Yet it is femininity that creates a home out of that house. It is femininity that creates culture out of civilization. If civilization is the establishment of homes, towns, and cities, and social structures, and justice systems and institutions, then it is femininity that creates culture. The flavor, the beauty, the spice of life. <laughs>